peace to everybody. This is about she dumped seven newborn puppies in the garbage. Now she'll go to jail. And look how adorable these little babies are. Aww. They are so cute. And the lady dumped these cutie babies in a garbage, really? I mean, you just cannot resist cute little puppies with their cute little faces and everything. Look how adorable they are. Deborah Sue Caldwell, the Southern California woman who was recorded tossing seven three-day-old puppies into a recycling bin behind an auto parts business in April, pledged guilty in court Wednesday afternoon to all counts related to the case. So Deborah has pleaded guilty, or yeah, pleaded guilty in court for because she dumped seven newborn puppies in the um in the taught in a recycling bin and um uh, so she's going to be going to she is pleaded guilty in court wednesday afternoon to all counts related to the case so and i mean seriously why are people so mean like this to cute little puppies they're so cute and adorable and they're innocent they haven't done nothing. The mother of these puppies is going to miss them because of what this woman has done to them. She was sentenced to 365 days in county jail, although 90 of those days will be under a work release. After, she will be on probation for seven years and prohibited from possessing animals. So she's going to be sentenced to 365 days in county jail, but only 90 of those days will be under a work release, and who knows what kind of work release it will be. Then after that, she will be on seven years probation, and she is not allowed to own no more animals. Rivers, Riverside County Superior Court Judge Harold Hopp, who earlier had increased her bail from $10,000 to $50,000 before reducing it to $40,000 over a period of weeks, agreed to terms of the plea. She changed her pleas to not guilty on seven felony animal cruelty counts and seven misdemeanor animal abandonment charges. So the judge did increase her bail from $10,000 to $50,000. Then she, re then the judge reduced it down to $40,000. I would have kept the $50,000 and forget reducing it. And um, she changed her pleas to not guilty on seven felony animal cruelty counts as seven misdemeanor animal abandonment charges. So mm, I, I still say that $40,000 reducing fee is not a good idea. I would have kept it at $50,000. And of course, here is Deborah Codwell, who pleaded guilty for dumping seven cute little puppies in a recycling bin. And I don't know what to say about this woman, but she is guilty as ever this is one woman i do not want to respect because after what she did to the puppies and of course the mother dog i don't know if she is looking for them or whatever but this woman had no right to dump the newborn puppies her case sparked outrage across the region and drew a national audience to the plight of her animals, which were later featured on a national television show with the goal of getting them adopted. So her case did spark outrage across the region, so everybody, so you might as well say the entire region watched the whole thing. Of course, if it was shown on TV, 
um, which were later featured on a national television show with the goals of getting them adopted. So the puppies are always the easiest ones to adopt, adopt out because they're so cute. And, and um, I don't know, with this woman, Deborah, she is just a horrible person. Earlier Wednesday, Judge Harold Hopp called the circumstances surrounding the case pretty severe. Caldwell's attorney declined to comment to reporters following the hearing. Well, I would dec well, yeah, because the attorney can't say nothing because she pleaded guilty for dumping the, animal, the puppies in a recycling bin. So what can the lawyer say? Nothing, really. Caldwell was arrested April 22nd after she was identified as the woman recorded on store surveillance video as the woman who drove a Jeep next to a recycling bin outside the, N the Napa Auto Parts store at 49251 Grapefruit Boulevard, Canola, on April 18th and disposed of a, a bag there. So... So she was arrested on April 22nd. Um, she was identified as the woman recorded on store surveillance. And of course, cameras never lie. Um, the video who, uh, the video is the woman who drove a Jeep next to the recycling bin outside the Napa Auto Parts. And on April 18th and disposed of a bag there. The video shows a woman with a ponytail in a short skirt exiting her Jeep with a plastic bag just after 1 p.m. and disposing the sealed bag in the bin. County Department of Animal Services spokesman John Walsh has said. Now, as you know, John Walsh's son was um, murdered years ago and of course he is the spokesman for i guess for the animals now um the video did show a woman with a ponytail in a short skirt um she exited the jeep with the plastic bag just after 1 p.m and she was just depositing the sealed bag in the bin so i mean this is terrible what people are doing to animals i mean if you don't want them then don't have them just leave them at the shelter or whatever but just don't go and throwing them in a, in a recycling bin or anything T call somebody call this animal shelter they'll come and take them <laughs> A passerby who looked through the bin within minutes found the bag, which held the seven squealing puppies, believed to be terrier mixes. The man identified only as John took the puppies into the air-conditioned auto parts store. They were turned over to authorities. So there was a passerby who um, saved the puppies because he found them in the bin. And um, so he took him into an air-conditioned auto parts store, and of course they were turned over to authority. So at least somebody was helpful to save the puppies from being hurt or whatever. But even though the even though she dumped the puppies in the bin, there was a passerby who had came by and took the puppies out of the bin and it's a good thing he is has saved the puppies before they got thrown into a recycling truck or whatever and of course here she is with the puppies she's about to throw them in the in the recycling bin and i i mean this is so sickening what she is doing to these poor puppies i mean this woman does belong in jail because I mean what the puppies ever do to anybody nothing these puppies are innocent they can't defend themselves or anything so I mean people like this don't deserve to have animals at all 
Welch said that with the temperature well into the 90s, he doubted the puppies would have survived very long in the bend. Oh, this is Welsh. I thought it was Welsh. I'm sorry. My bad. My name, the last name was way off. I'm sorry. I apologize. Welsh did say that the temperatures were well into the 90s. And you know how those 90 degree temperatures are a killer. Um, he doubted the puppies would have survived very long in the bend. But, it, but it's a good thing he he saved the puppies because if they were to stay in the bin longer they would have been dead and then of course that would have been murder for the puppies the puppies were treated at a foster rescue home but one believed to be the runt of the litter died a week after being discovered oh so there was a puppy that died a week after being discovered so they believed that the puppy was a runt and it was smaller than the others um the, the puppies were treated at a foster rescue home so that's a good thing that these puppies were at a foster home foster rescue home because this is what where the puppies needed to be they needed love and everything but who knows where the mother dog is because she could be anywhere around the mother dog Another 38 dogs were pulled from Caldwell's home and later prepared for adoption after Caldwell relinquished ownership. Most of them were turned over to area rescue groups. So this woman had 38 more dogs in her home. Is she flipping serious? Well, it's a good thing she relinquished ownership. But now she is not allowed to have no more pets ever. Because if she does, she will go to jail. Well, she is going to go to jail anyways. But if she were to try to own any dogs, she's going to go back to jail. I think we were a little sad that she didn't get more than a year of jail time, said Jan Janine Bear. President of the Nonprofit Society's Outcast Animal Rescue, where five of Caldwell's dogs were placed. But on the other hand, when you look at what's going on in the world today and the pen, penal system, we're probably lucky we got any jail time at all. So, yeah, so you're. Alright, so yeah, one year is not enough, but. I guess the maximum is one to two years only so and one year that's not enough for her because she needs to be more in jail more than a year but 365 days 90 days of work release and then the rest of the time she'll be on probation I mean come on with these cute little puppies they never did anything to this woman at all except show except being born to the mother dog and of course the mother dog has to be somewhere looking for her puppies but then again the mother dog could have been adopted too so but 38 more dogs oh my gosh that woman had oh i don't know just about a kennel in her house <sighs> It's just sad what these poor puppies had to go through. And you know, nobody, no puppy deserves this kind of punishment. Please call your local shelter if you are willing to give up any animal that you have. If you cannot take care of them, please call your local shelter to let them know, hey, look, I'm surrendering my pets. I don't want to put them out on the street. So this way they could come and take them. Leave your comments below. I am out.